This is the Jocko Underground Podcast, number 71, sitting here with EC, Echo Charles. Trust. Yep. So trust, obviously, is the, the, the foundation of relationships, and not just personal relationships, but business relationships, people that you interact with, your family, the whole nine yards. So what happens when trust gets broken? What do you do? And really that can happen from two directions. One is you broke the trust. The other is someone else broke the trust. So I think first and foremost, it's very important to understand the impact of broken trust because what we're gonna talk about is that it is very, very, very difficult to rebuild and get, I mean, this is like, if someone break, let's say you have a friend that, that breaks your trust, it could take, first of all, there's a chance that it could never recover. Yeah. I mean, depending on what it is, there's a chance it could never recover. If it is a recoverable item that was broken, like they did something a little bit less negatively impacting your life, it could still take years. So what I'm saying is nothing's more important in a relationship between two human beings than making sure that you don't break trust. Don't lie. This is the lesson that you teach your kid, right? Your kid does something stupid. Hey, you punish him for doing something stupid. Your kid does something stupid and lies about it. It's next level, right? That's when that's when it's going to get kind of wild. So, <laughs> They're going to make sure they don't forget that. So to keep that in mind in any time you're interacting with people that trust and integrity is the most important thing you got. If you break it, and look, if you make a mistake and break it, that's totally, it's it's not totally different because you can make a mistake and break someone's trust and now they're like, Bro, you know, mm-hmm. but you you already on the are on the path to rebuild because you explain, hey, you take ownership, this is a mistake. But if you break someone else's trust, first of all, you gotta recognize that it's a problem and you've gotta, you've gotta recognize that there's a decent chance that no one should ever trust you again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is, which is, by the way, a class of humans. There's a class of human beings. Trust is not a thing for them. They don't care. Like they're they're gonna, they're gonna. They don't care about it. Like everything I just said, they're kind of shrugging their shoulders. Like, what is he talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I gotta get mine. And right, hey, right, you know right. what I mean. You know, hey, you gotta take care of yourself, and you gotta take care of number one. And you know, if they don't want to trust me. That's fine. I still got my. You know what I mean? That yeah. there's a whole class of human beings that are like that. So stay away from them for sure. But if you're not like that and you accidentally or you purposely broke someone's trust and now you're trying to rebuild it, I'm just gonna say right out of the gate, don't expect some kind of forgiveness. Don't expect, oh, I'm really sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Don't expect that that, that things are handled now because mm-hmm. they're actually not. Mm-hmm. Don't expect them to trust you. Don't expect, you, what, you, you don't trust me anymore? No, I don't actually trust you anymore. And they may, not, they may or may not say that to you. Yeah. But... You have a lot of work to do. And the way that you're going to do it is by performing and being trustworthy for a long, long, long time. And hopefully over time, you can rebuild. You may never get back to like 100% trust. You may never clear that that blemish off your record. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like a felon. It's just on there and that's the way it is. It's going to show up on your police report. So you got to expect that. That's what you got to expect. Now, on the other side, how to rebuild if someone else broke it, right? And again, first of all, you got to recognize it's a problem. Second of all, you got to recognize that there's a, you probably shouldn't ever trust them again, right? Like they made, they made, now listen, like I said, if they made a mistake, we're in a kind of a different category than someone that consciously decides, oh, I'm gonna, I I think I can get away with this, or I'm gonna make this move because it's better for me. Someone breaks your trust? Look, I'm not saying you can't work with them anymore. And I mean, I had to work with people that I didn't really trust 100%, but you're like, okay, now what do I do? Watch them, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Don't give them impactful things that you don't have trust in them on. And then, I mean, I think you just start small and you start giving a little bit of trust back and hopefully you can grow that over time if they're repentant in their behavior, if they are trying 
to rebuild that trust, if they're taking ownership of their mistakes, then I think you can move it in the right direction. But like I said, you gotta use caution with this type of person because they might be a snake, right? Like just a, just a rat, just a snake. And so like a dog with kids, like you really, you really like your dog, but you still shouldn't leave your dog in a room like alone with a toddler, mm-hmm. you know? Because that's not just a, not a good thing to do. Because a dog is still a dog, and a rat is still a rat, and a snake is still a snake. So you give them that opportunity, and they're probably going to break your trust. So that's what I'm saying. I think the the point here is trust is like a such a valuable thing and you better treat it that way mm. there you go what are you doing? you're taking notes over there it's, what's up it's kind of like teeth enamel right once you lose it it's gone one okay. of those kind of things okay. super hard okay. you know i don't know i just thought of that but um <laughs> no you said a mistake like if someone makes a mistake right like what like what would be an example of like a mistake uh, and wait wait let me be sure that i yeah. understand we're saying you make a mistake then it's like easier to be like oh, okay it was just a mistake and maybe like gain have trust right, right, right. So, like, what would be a, just a, a mistake would be like, oh, you know, you had our equipment in your car, you left the car open, the, the stuff got stolen. Oh, right. And so, you, yeah, you're trusting me to oversee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's oh, like okay. a different yeah, yeah, kind of different. trust, right? Yeah. So, you know, some people, they'll say it was a lapse of judgment. Okay. And they'll kind of almost try to categorize that as just a mistake, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, what's the, the deal? Like, I don't know. If you get with someone's girlfriend or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, I had a lapse of judgment kind of a thing. Where it's like, mm, that's not like an innocent mistake like the one you're saying. Mm-hmm. No, that's totally different. That's like violating trust, right? Like, like that kind of whatever. Um, but they say lapse of judgment. Do you give that any cred? It's a step. Yeah. You know? But it also could be an excuse. I it might like sound like an excuse, and it might be an excuse when I hear it. Yeah, like what? what would be... In an innocent, la- not innocent, but like a legitimate just lapse of judgment that wouldn't have the weight of an actual betrayal. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like a lapse of judgment that's like legit. Um, a lapse of judgment. Oh, I know one. Like what? maybe if someone like had like a meeting or something. Like let's say me and you had a meeting mm. with somebody. I don't uh-huh. know that was going to, we're going to do something cool or right, big. Right. And I went out drinking the night before because I was maybe fired up and mm-hmm. I drank too much and then I came to the meeting like super hungover or yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. That could be a lapse. Uh, I think a, an example similar to that but maybe a little bit more like legit is there's a big business opportunity and a guy like reaches out to you and me mm-hmm. and I don't see the email mm-hmm. and you go and meet with the guy and I'm like, dude, you didn't even tell me about this big business opportunity. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd yeah. be like, oh man, I I saw your email. I thought, I thought you just didn't care about it. You right, know what I mean? Right, so yeah. then it's like, okay, we we were just a little not aligned on what was important, what's not. You yeah. you made a judgment call. I don't agree with your judgment. Okay, yeah. you know, there's there's like combat scenarios mm-hmm. where people people do things and and it's sort of a bad judgment Mm -hmm. you know we actually have a saying for it's like good initiative bad judgment yeah like hey i thought i would just be smart for me to just storm you know get across the street and take that other house down yeah it's like bro no one knew you were going there yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so the things like that happen that's bad judgment Mm -hmm. and that would impact trust Mm -hmm. because obviously you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing now Mm -hmm. is it on me yeah it's on me because if i'm the leader and I didn't explain to you, hey, don't clear any other buildings that aren't part of the target set. You go do it anyways. Yeah. So we got some we got some issues. I'm thinking of this scenario. It doesn't have to do with storming buildings, by the mm-hmm. way. So I was in Kong Kwai mm-hmm. a few weeks ago, whatever. And <clears throat> Terry, big sexy, mm-hmm. was there, happened oh, to okay. be there, him and Nareen. So, but they were leaving like a di- two days after we arrived there. So we only had essentially one day to like, catch up or whatever um so i was like oh let's go up to my younger brother's house mm-hmm. right and so i'm on the phone with my brother my yata? younger brother yeah yata and terry so basically something came up where it's like oh man the, the time is running out you know we got kids now they're going to bed so it's like we don't really have time to go up to yata's house because he lives in Kalea, which is like a good 20 minutes like drive one way 
But Terry literally is, he's staying walking distance from me. And there's a bar that's walking distance from us. Like it's in the same kind of area. So I was like, ah, we only got basically like an hour left for me to, I don't know, to to hang for whatever. Oh yeah, because the bar is going to close. So me thinking, I thought this literally for like 10 seconds where I'm like, oh, I'll call you. Because the plan was like, oh yeah, all three of us are going to hang out Mm -hmm. for Terry's last day. So Mm -hmm. maybe go up to Yata's house or something like this. But time got away from us. It would have been just the circumstances turned out where going up to Yata's house is like unrealistic. We're not going to do that. So we're like, oh, we'll just go to this bar real quick. We'll hang out, have, you know, have a few laughs, whatever. I look, we only have an hour left. So me and Terry can just shoot up there. If I tell my younger brother, oh, we're going to this bar, he's going to say no. Because by the time he even gets there, mm-hmm. put on his clothes, that's at least five minutes. <laughs> by the time he gets there, he's going to be like freaking, there's just a few minutes left, you know. So he's not going to come all the way down to this side. So anyway, I thought that for like 10 seconds, didn't tell him. So I was like, ah, oh, let's just go. Yeah, you know, Yata's caught up for the yeah. night, you know. He's with his kids and all this stuff. They have school the next day, all mm-hmm. this stuff, right? So me and Terry go, have a few laughs or whatever. Come to find out, like, Yata would have wanted to go. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a big deal or nothing like that, but I found that out. Oh, I would have wanted to go. Oh, you should have told me, you know, kind of a thing. So think about that, right? Where me, that's kind of a lapse of judgment. Yeah. Legitimately. It's the same, it's a, that's almost the same story that I just said. You know, you we got an email. I didn't respond. You yeah. met with the yep. guy. And that's I was what, like, and you're yeah. like, dude, I didn't even think you yeah. know, that would be a big deal. Yeah, that's why it reminded me yeah. of it. So... But it could be in, in a d- different dimension or whatever, different scenario where Yata, my younger brother, could have been like, ah, he excluded me on purpose, yeah. which he didn't think, obviously. But And it could also be him just like taking advantage of the situation to make you feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the, yeah, it's true. You know, there's all kinds of mind games going on in the world. Yeah, yeah. That could be one of them. Yata, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> you obviously wouldn't do that, but it was like so, in, you know, uh, the plan was to hang us all three. It's okay, so what's your point in this? Anyway, my point is that's like a legitimate lapse of judgment Yeah. versus if a, that scenario was slightly different, if I did say, hey, I don't want, let's not hang with him. Let's go secretly hang Yeah. do another hang, you know? Well, that's why intent is so important. And even, you know, when I said like, oh, you go and... That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground